a guard-centric league right now? We are, Kevin. I mean, we've always had great guards, and they lead you through championships with their leadership and their play along with the big guy. But what's happening right now, Kevin, the big man is playing like a guard. The skill level of these seven-footers to be able to shoot threes, dribble, pass. So it does seem like a guard-centric league right now because everybody can play that position. And the Clippers starting five. Patrick Beverly out there with Paul George. Then it's Ivica Zubas. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Morris in at the four slot. So the Utah Jazz able to put the first points up on the board. He was all alone on that one. There is the response. Kawhi rarely changes expression. But you know what he's thinking. I got your back. Kindly the pass to Mitchell. Over George. Here's Gobert. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Yep, it counts. With his great length and skill, Paul George has no trouble getting points in the paint. Kindly, the pass to O'Neal. Conley against George. Conley's shot is off. For Los Angeles, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. Leonard, his second shot goes in, off to a good start, two for two. The power, the length, the ability to finish. Leonard dominant in that painted area. Conley, the pass to O'Neal. Mitchell dishes to Conley. Six on the shot clock. And it's sent back by George. Not going to be Paul George with that move. He's too long and too talented of a defender. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Good on the triple. Mitchell's got six points. That's just great court recognition there. He saw the D pack in the lane on the break, so he calmly rolls up and drained the transition three. And here's George for three. Rebounded by the Jazz. And such a great all-around player for over a decade now. Conley is one of the class acts in our league. He is, GA, one of the best floor leaders we have. He's completely unselfish. Also, three-time NBA Sportsmanship Award winner. And in 2019, was named NBA Teammate of the Year. And a bump this quarter, he's trying to shoot his way out of it. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. I agree. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And there's a lot of talk about Gobert's rim protection, but his rebounding is every bit as important on the defensive end. Yeah, that's finishing off defense. Once you force them to miss, you don't want to allow second-chance opportunities. Rudy Gobert averaged over 10 defensive boards a game last year. That was the best numbers of his career and top three in the league. Zubats kicks to Beverly. Outside Leonard. Morris outside. And no good. The Jazz go the other way with it. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Well, Quinn Snyder and I got a chance to talk for a bit. He and his assistants are trying to figure out ways to run Paul George off of the three-point line. Coach said, even though George is a good passer, he's an elite shooter. We'd rather force him into making plays for others. This is the kind of problem that a superstar presents every night. Kevin? Thank you, David. Utah leading by three. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. Pass 
to Leonard. Back to George. Fires the three. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. The Jazz again can't hit it. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Pushing the action. Always working for the best shot. Nice drive by Kawhi. O'Neal passes to Mitchell. Count that one. Mitchell's got ten points in the game. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Pass to Morris. He dishes it to George. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Smitty with LeBron getting into his late 30s. KD coming off the Achilles. For your money, is Kawhi Leonard the best player in the world? Great question. I know one player, the Greek freak, might have something to say about that. No less than Michael Jordan himself called Kawhi the best two-way player in the game. That's a very strong endorsement from MJ. A free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. And guys, even though he's in a big market, Kawhi Leonard still not one for the spotlight. <laughs> that is so true. It's not about the fame for him. He's in L.A., but Kawhi Leonard stays in his bubble. All the trappings that come with being a great player, he's truly focused on the love of the game, winning and being the best possible player he can be. So he gets them both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Now here is Conley. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Gobert. The teardrop falls in. That's just too easy. Defensively, you want to prevent Gobert from getting the ball that deep. Bogdanovich against Leonard. Pass to Zubats. Another shot. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Clippers trail by three to the middle. Here's Zubats and the dunk by Zubats. Well, Paul knows the defense is locked in on him, so he takes advantage and finds the open man. Passes it to Mitchell. And then Mitchell with the dunk. Excellent timing on that play and a wonderful pass. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the Clippers. Pass to George. Back to Beverly. That one doesn't drop. O'Neal with the defensive effort. Here we go. One on one. Mitchell wide open. Offensive rebound. And the rejection by Zubats. And it's out of bounds. The Jazz able to retain possession here. Los Angeles making a switch here. Hondo's checked in. Here's O'Neal. And the dunk by O'Neal. Few players in the league do a better job of finding the open man than Mike Conley. Pass to Leonard. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Leonard's got 11 points. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. O'Neal passes to Mitchell. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Jazz lead by five. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. And the Clippers call time here. Greg is a point guard. What is it you like to see from that position on the floor? I think first and foremost, leadership. It's so valuable 
at that spot and you know you you, you always got to have your head high because your teammates are feeding off what you put forth in terms of your body language and enthusiasm so you know the typical stuff about organizing the offense and, and setting the tone on the defensive end that stuff's important as well but so much of how you carry yourself out on the floor when you deal with adversity and you know that you're going to it, it is really paramount here's Mitchell Kawhi Leonard making his last shot count it he's got 16 man have they been effective at getting the ball inside Clippers trail by five Rondo with the ball nothing yet on the scoreboard for him Leonard draws the double here's Zubat it's good it's his second basket he's shooting two for four Kawhi is carving up this defense love his awareness he is finding the open man here's Conley inside here's O'Neal and the dunk by O'Neal the D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim there's a reason GA the lead is what it is right now it's a backbreaker for your defense giving up easy buckets like that trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor terrific quarter for him the Clippers have had two chances at the line already making them both yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. The free throw drops for Leonard. With Kawhi, you love his talent, but just as important, you love the basketball IQ and work ethic. Now, here's Mitchell. He's got 16. They double-team Conley. There's the three. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Rondo with the ball. Conley picks him up. The shot by Rondo is no good. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. But he gets it back. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Tries from 16. Bank shot, no good. Utah leading, and here they come. Here's Mitchell, and it's Mitchell with the jam. And his teammates appreciate the unselfishness. Bondanovich willing to get it to his open guys. Rondo passes to George. O'Neal with the rebound. O'Neal's got six rebounds here tonight. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. They get it again. Gobert. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Love how Gobert stays active inside, picking up fouls in the process. The Jazz shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. And at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid numbers. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. What you have to love about Gobert, he's improved across the board. We're even seeing it at the line. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Clippers trail by six. And here's George. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The homecoming for Paul George. Playing in L.A. with the Clippers. They gave up a King's ransom to OKC. Five first-round picks and Danilo Gallinari and Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Throw good, Paul George. 
And guys, the Clippers were willing to give almost anything for PG because they basically got Kawhi Leonard in the deal as well. And let's remember, GA, he could have been a Laker. They would have had to trade away the second pick in the 2017 draft. That or Brandon Ingram. Their loss became the Clippers game. And OKC, Paul George showed he could be an MVP caliber performer. With Kawhi on the Clippers, he could be that 1B or that 1A. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. And PG, you know, he has the versatility to succeed in different roles. Doesn't have to dominate the ball. Yes, and if anything, he's more comfortable scoring within the flow of the offense. With his all-around impact, doesn't need to force things to make winning plays. But if you need him to, he can. Kindly the pass to Faber. And a slam dunk by Faber. Favors will never turn down a chance to dunk it. A powerful presence who really intimidates defenders with his athleticism. Now, here is George. And it's sent back by O'Neal. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. And it's Mitchell missing. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Here's Mitchell. After the Clippers pick up two. Favors dishes to Mitchell. And there's the pass to come. Back to Mitchell. Just five to shoot. Kawhi Leonard comes up with the rebound. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Four-point game. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Now, here's Bogdanovich. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Offensive rebound. And that one's good by favor. And loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. Here's Rondo. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Conley. And now Utah, fast break. Here's Mitchell. Rondo with some nice D. It's amazing. All night, he's been out of sync on the offensive end, yet they continue to lead. Outside for George. Second chance shot, and it's Zubats laying it in. Zubats has got six. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Mitchell is double. Here's O'Neal. And the three off target. Now the Clippers moving it up. Batum, good. Now just a two-point Jazz lead. Here's Mitchell. Passes it to O'Neal. Two on the clock. No good with the layup. A nice first quarter of play. We've seen plenty of offense so far. Jazz lead by two. Live from Vivint Smart Home Arena. You're watching 2K Sports. And always.